Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Battle Brothers. People's Militia. We left off down in the south uh, for the first time in Tanvir. And we're just gonna continue, I guess. We'll we'll try and pick up some more contracts or some contracts in the south. Maybe test our might and power against some more nomads. And um yeah, I think it'll be. I think we're pretty good to go up against some some stronger foes, uh, particularly in the south. Um, yeah, I, I think we're at a a pretty good uh, point. I mean, we we don't have a lot of melee skill. I keep saying this, but we do have uh, the armor to kind of uh, take a beating and get uh hitting rolls basically so i i think we're ready um to just hang out down here for a little bit it would be nice to get some other brothers that can hit so what i'll end up doing is maybe start hiring and just kicking if they're not meeting some standards we have some good amount of money um so, for instance, we go into Tanvir here. Uh, we could grab Butchers. And, well, that might be the only thing that I go for here, but... Um, let's hire him up. And, I mean, in this case, it, he's rolling 53, which I think is a pretty low amount. He only has one star in defense. And the other stars are pretty terrible. Yeah. So in this case, I mean, we we really need to be more careful about who we're we're uh, picking up. Um, I know that he's kind of like a a warm body and can help out, but I don't need uh, weak help. I really need some more stronger help. So uh, militia is going to be. Um, something that we really need to be looking for at this point. So that was just an example, but um, if if I had fewer men, I probably would have taken him and just kept him. But that's not the case. All right. And put in shield at zero. Ah, right. That's because. Oops, that's not what I want to click on. Where is it? The retinue. Repairs all armor, helmets, weapons, and shields worn by your men, even if they're broken or lost because your man died. So basically what happened here is when Hans lost his shield in that one battle, I believe it was Hans, um, we picked it right back up again, and it's at zero uh, health or... Um, ability so all weapons everything is going to come back to us this is important for things like named items um, if if uh, Sigurd did fall and we lost his armor down all the way down to zero typically that would be it we would never get it back but in this case with the blacksmith we would be getting it back um, that is if we won the battle anyway if we did retreat and he died then we wouldn't see it again all right so i noticed there's no contract here there's really nothing else um because this event here things are going to be expensive 81 percent over the uh the worth is pretty bad buying price um 20 percent of the worth is a good selling price, but I don't really have much to sell. I guess we have a few things here. Let's hop back into the market and I'm not gonna do, I don't wanna fix that shield up, so we'll do. Ooh, we did pick up one of these, so we'll make sure to, that might be something we wanna um, that we wanna use, that we wanna, yeah, put on somebody. 
It is unfortunately pretty heavy. This the maximum fatigue of a kite shield is 16. And the Sipar shield is 18. Now the it's only plus three, plus three for the melee and range defense over a wooden shield. But the important thing here is the durability is 60 instead of 24, so it can really take a beating before it uh, before it breaks. Um, we really want to put that on somebody uh, immediately. And I think that's... Uh, it could be either Sigurd or Thorben to pick up that shield. Let's see who has the... I guess it would probably be Thorben. He's at 30 and then 31. Yeah, so they have a pretty similar... Um... They have a pretty similar melee defense. So I think let's just give this to Thorben. We'll make this side a bit stronger. And the next Sipar shield we can put onto Sigurd. Um, I don't think that anybody else can really handle it, which is unfortunate. Um, might want to switch. Let's switch these guys, so, because I, I don't want, like, Kunibert and Egon here on the same, uh, on the same side. Kunibert, we're just, we'll put throw here, just to remind me. Um, elf gear is melee. Hans is stun. I think I already chose. Oh no, I haven't. So, uh, but because I have backstabber and fast adaptation, I'll I'll keep him as a stunner basically. Bertel. I think he was kind of backup. Um, I'll put. Uh, LT for Lieutenant. I don't know if that actually comes below Sergeant. Um, if it doesn't, then uh, let me know and I can I can put something else. I, I would say Captain is probably... I don't... I have no idea what I'm talking about with ranks, but... Um, I would think Captain is higher than Sergeant anyway, but... Um... Yeah, everybody else is kind of, if they have a, a dot at the end of their name, then, then I didn't really uh, put a note here for their title. All right, so. Let's get out of here and I guess let's uh, head down to Ras Sanan, and if we find anything along the way, then let's chase him down. Speed this up. There's those five serpents again, you know? Uh, let's just take them. I don't know how many times I've seen them now. That it seems like this is the third time, but we have plenty of guys here. We should be able to take on five serpents. Um, I kind of just left them behind last time because of our melee attack, but we have a really strong line of um, defense with either armor or you know shielded brothers. So I think we're. Just we're definitely going to be fine and we can we can be throwing these at them too
Kurt might be a problem. Um, we'll see. Okay. So I think we're just going to end it, um, end the round. There's really, I'm just waiting for them to come to us. Um, so let's let's see how they let's see them do that. I'm wondering if I should immediately just start. Uh, I'm going to skip it. I want to see them. They just line up right there, then we can move up and charge, basically. <clears throat> and our throwers can really start doing some damage. I guess if that's as close as they're going to get, then let's start hammering into them. Oh, that was a good hit. Uh, let's wait with you. Interesting. I want to see what he does before I start moving in. And they are going to act again. So if we move in, then they're going to be... Hmm. I don't know what I how I think about this or what I think about this. If if we move in, then they're probably going to attack us. And if we don't, maybe they'll pull the pull somebody in. I don't know how many um, action points for all these things. I I tend to just not care about that. <laughs> I don't need to know all of the details of this game to play and have fun. So. Um, I think what I'm going to do though is at least move up to them so that, oh, that was a mistake. Right in the ear. That was that was a mistake I should be able to uh, one of these guys might have it um, let's put you right here uh, I can't go any further with you I can't go any further with you I'm gonna bring you up and start Ugh. Darn. Um. Good hit. Good, okay. I was hoping that I had that. Uh, let's st stun that guy. You do have one, that's nice. We can hit too. Um. <clears throat> right. It's only one to hit, so it should be fine, honestly. And we can still... Well, I can take a step up and then take a step back. It's more or less... It's more going to be about the, about the pole arms than the... Uh, than the... Um, crossbows. There we go. Ah. And take away some of their armor. But I can step up now and 
Take that. Oh, would have been pretty nice, but. Oh, come on. Okay. 71, 74. Roll the 72. Great. Uh, nice. I think that was a headshot. I think I'm going to basically just back off with my uh, uh, range attacks. I, I realized I didn't have a whole lot of ammunition to begin with, so... Back up. Good hits. There. Made it. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's five serpents. Serpents are nasty and they, they can do quite a bit of damage to you, but um, against five, it should be fine. And it was fine. We did get a level up, that's good, and we found a whole bunch of loot that we can sell. That's all nice. Uh, let's level up real quick. Yeah, we're already out of ammunition, I just saw. Uh, Bjarne the Light. Okay. So this is pretty much done for me. I didn't get to see... Okay. Yeah, these aren't even good enough to go for, so... Uh, the plus three here, and that's that's obvious. This is obvious too. Um, now is a good time to really find him a weapon, um, a two-handed weapon. Uh, uh, sorry, a one-handed weapon that we can use. And I could go for duelist. However. Keeping a, a two-handed weapon on him still isn't a bad idea. I was thinking, like, this gives us a, a good boost in initiative, for instance. And maybe that's the one I go with, is the Um We can make him a, a butcher with um, uh, light armor. But... Headhunter... Nimble. Nimble is where we want to be now. Yeah, a nimble dodge kind of brother. So with Nimble, at the moment, since he has 10 14, then. Then he's going to have only 40% of the damage to hit points from attacks. So that's going to reduce incoming damage by quite a bit. And since we have a ton of hit points anyway, um, it's going to be even better. So, we want to be kind of using him as a flanker now and bring him in the same way that we're using Alfred. We do want to kind of increase his his uh, his armor a little bit more, but this is good enough for now. Okay. Uh, we do have a little bit of damage here on the front line, but that's fine. We, I'm not too worried about that. Let's continue on. To Raz Sanan. Whoops. Uh, we do need some more tools and supplies, ammunition, food. All, so all the supplies would be nice, except for we have plenty of medical supplies still. Ah, they still they have ambush trade routes as well. Um, which is going to make 
all of this too expensive, but okay, so I do have the money. Let's just grab it. Uh, I can sell all this off. I know I can craft. I get it. Um, but I'll deal with that stuff later. It, I don't need that stuff at the at this time. So uh, let's see here. I think that's it. Don't really need to sell anything else off. Do I want to use another long axe? Um, I did get rid of one. So I say we go for it. It is going to reduce the chances of hitting a little bit, but um, it's kind of nice to have. I, I, I like the long axe for the, it can kind of take out an entire was it 24 damage to shields so it can take an entire um, wooden shield out in one hit which is pretty decent uh, two hits it can take a kite shield down so but other than that it, it does still hit uh, pretty hard and hard excuse me harder than the uh, the hooked blade that he had okay so let's see what the contracts are. We're looking for driving nomads off nomad tents east of here. I think that'll be what we take. And then we can, uh, whoa, what is this? Three days to the northwest, deliver cargo. Um, that, that might be a good a good thing to take on. It looks like our arena is going to be way over here because I didn't see it here and I didn't see it here either. So. And I do have the taxidermist, so I, I guess I could have done that, but uh, crafted or at least looked at, looked at uh, the crafting, but yeah, I, I'm just not really, the crafting is fun when you're actually taking down a lot of beasts, but I don't necessarily like to just hold on to it for too long. Um, I've done it in the past and, and it helps, sure, but it takes up a lot of space too, so. I don't really see much here that I'd like to take on. Um, so we will leave. And then we'll... Ah, okay. I was wondering when this would uh, proc here, because I, I haven't had an ambition for, for a little bit of time now, so... Okay, we need to catch the Eye of the Nobles. So this would get us to be doing... Um, noble contracts. Would be pretty nice, actually. Uh, we need 1,050 in order to do that. 1,050 renown. We could just find a ruin or a camp or a hostile location and take it or destroy it. Uh, this one has to be on our own, though. So, for instance, we can't use this um, on contracts that show us a location. So we have to go find one and take it. Um, shall get the company strike to 16. I think we only need one more guy for this. And defeat five packs of beasts. Oops. So in this case, uh, such as direwolves and oxers, but I think any beasts. I think those are just two examples. Um, in this case, I, I, I would take this task and um, hunt down those five packs, and I would hold on to the the, the loot. Of the beasts and that way you know I'm looking for beasts I want to be taking their stuff and I can be um, going to the taxidermist with that and craft but if I just see one from time to time I'm gonna sell it off uh, most of the time but let's go with 16 men I think we can go and do this come back and then hire somebody and that's it that'll That'll be uh, a good one. 
And then we'll take this time to look at the renown that we have. Take a look. So we've already done that one. We needed 1,050. We have 1,091. So we can easily finish that one as well. Um, and maybe we want to do that. It just kind of gets rid of some of the... Oops. Forgot about the food. Uh, it gets rid of some of those easier ambitions. And I mean... And it's fine. We'll we'll take care of that. Do that next. Huh. So it's not showing us what's here. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. <laughs> You're both late and right on time, he says as he gets to his feet, the tarp rustle. Tarps rustle and baskets tilt. Um, so I want to say that this is... Yeah, and that confirms it. There is going to be a necromancer with a bunch of nomad... Um, uh, undead. This is going to work to our benefit we can use that but I'd like to send maybe a couple guys to go and take care of the, the necromancer let's there he is there's 13 of them so it should be pretty easy honestly <clears throat> Move up and 80%. Look, take that. Two good hits, nice. Okay. Please mind controlled this one. Typically, like two guys, two of the undead with shields are going to stay behind and. Um, uh, protect him, protect the necromancer. So we don't really have to worry about that. Then it's going to be uh, 11 undead. And I'm just going to, you know, let's kind of move up one, two, three, four. They can't really attack us uh, yet, so we'll move up to them. Except for you, gone. Let's let's end right there. You'll be able to hit, so we can wait. Wait there. And I'm most certainly going to end right here because they don't want to be getting hit by us. Um, I could have probably waited. Um, right here, wait. 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 This will be a, a nice choke point if they choose to go that direction. Wait here. Um, so that means... I'm going to swing him down this way. So maybe he's right there, and that's why they're blocking him. But I didn't expect three of them to be standing there. Yeah, there he is. Uh, so wait here, I mean... He's kind of in a bad position because, I mean, he could hit somebody right there, but they're almost certainly going to go here. Uh, just wait there. Nice, that one's almost dead already. Uh, 
Um, what I'll do is move out this way. Let's switch you guys up. This will be... I kind of want you in the middle here. Wait. Wait. Up there. So let's try and take this guy out. Hit. If I can get a little closer, I can start uh, picking them off or maybe trying to go for that, but. Um, start hitting. Wait. Kind of want to move up here, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait and see what they do. Interesting, that's the one they went with. Wait. Wait. There, one down. Good hits. Wait. Now they're moving up. Again, I could move up here and just... Uh, I think Hans actually has pretty terrible, yeah. So these two have pretty weak. Um, that's a good spot for you. I'm just gonna end your turn. Perfect. Wait. So this is almost better than um, going up against the nomads in general. Do I want to... What do I want to do with you? I, like, I could have you move out here and then really start going around, but there's too many up there to, to think about that at the moment. I don't really want... there's these three that are going to just pile around this way unless I take care of that then one will go there so unfortunately I think I'm just gonna Alfred just wait there let's go for that head uh, you don't have much I'm just gonna wait or uh, end your turn oh come on you can't do that nice Hmm. Well, that's not good. So we want to take care of him. So my thought here is, I mean, chopping off these heads is really what I need to be doing. Now, it's interesting that the Necromancer is up here. And all of them are down. I mean, we've killed two up on here. Okay, I, I, I'll take that. But, um, but that they're all piled down here. So this kind of allows me to just move forward with my northern flank here. Um, we do want to be chopping the heads off. So I'm just going to use knockback instead. Have all of us gone over here? This is what I'm going to do. We're going to knock him back. And then in the next round, we can step forward, kill him, and start making some uh, uh, forward progress. Oh. We need that headshot there. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, wait again, yep. Let's take that space and... Nicely done, the Arne. Take a step, he didn't pick up a weapon. Work. Nice. Uh-oh. You're kidding me. No. That was my other... Yeah, that's... As soon as I... As soon as he's about to die, that always happens. It's like I have one turn away from killing them, and then they kill one of my guys. I mean, it's totally fine. You know, Unibert, he was a... Uh... Oops, well, he's not going to show up. He was a trash. You can see Kunibert, period, throw. So I'm fine with him dying, but it's it's funny how that works out that way all the time. Uh, so elf gear. I want to see what they rolled here. Nine and a two. Yeah. 13, 21, I mean. Oh. But he's dead, we don't have to worry about him. I. Th we will have to, might, we might have to worry about him. Uh, there's a way to fix that by picking up that hammer so when he does get reanimated, which he's almost certainly going to, then we can uh, take the weapon away from him. But that's not going to happen. Take a step up. Oh. Well, thank you. We'll wait. I want to see what he does. I mean, I, I'm okay with them plugging this hole. I, I just don't want them to all go this way. So I think... I think actually what I might do instead, though, is... Hmm. Because if I move here, then they'll be able to take a shot, but they will too anyway, so... Let's wait. I want to see what they do. keep him occupied there. Good work. Hans, let's just step up right there. Ugh, ugh. Another one down. That's... Ooh, so we really, really need to bring some guys down this way. Um, I'm not sure if bringing Sigurd all the way there or just, I think just going this way is going to be better for him. Uh, let's now go here. We really need to take care of these guys. I'm gonna wait. I need him to kind of get some of that back. Take that shot that's necessary.
41% for something that's pretty important? Or do I go for it? Because... Yeah, okay. Who's he putting it on? Him? That's fine. He brought him back again. Um, let's wait with you. Let's start making this uh, progress here. Ugh. That would have been nice. Okay. Egon, we need you to... We need you to be fighting uh, in melee. I think what I'm going to do is kind of send these four up here. Um, they should be able to handle this. So I'm going to bring Volmar. His turn is in two. And he has a turn coming up. Oh man. Well, he's only going to be able to hit once, but he's almost certainly going to hit Evald. Um, yeah, I think I, I have to kind of do it this way. That's fine. Oh, wow. He actually went for the hardest one. Let's go for it. No, <laughs> this is the bad thing right there. Ugh. Damn it. Okay. Good. That's one down. Uh, wait. Let's go for that shield. So we don't have to worry about that. It's going to make him a little stronger. That's that's going to be a pain, but... Um, let's move around a little bit. Good. more like it. Uh -oh. <laughs> ah, he missed again. Mm, Seventy six percent chance. I, I wanted to stun him for two turns. All right. Okay. Um, I think you're in a good position. We can go for elf gear here or uh, the, the weeder ganger. Sorry, buddy. More important, gotta go for that one. Who's he gonna raise? Him again, huh? It's 
Let's move up this time. Getting intense. Yeah, if there's anybody I want you to be attacking, that would be. Good. All right, buddy, come help up out here. Uh, I think I'll split these two. Volmar move up, and Hans down here. Can't even attack, he's so tired. Um, this is a problem. Good work. We really need to get on this guy. Good hit. There we go. Did it. <laughs> He's too tired. Yeah, all of our guys are tired. This is when this is a kind of fight that's a bit I don't want to say it's it's too difficult for us because it's it clearly isn't we've we've made it this far we lost a couple guys um, they weren't necessarily the the ones the ones that I needed to keep I'm not too uh, hurt by it but it's a very long fight that uh, that has made recover increasingly more important. I think we're all done with this. Don't worry about that anymore. Ah, oh, come on. can't even get that far. Wow. Ah. Dead. One hit. That looks like it was a hit to the head too, so. Uh, Cause it destroyed Dark Cowl. Nope, can't move it. take a step up I don't think yeah okay I was gonna say this. I don't think anything else was going to, to get up but there was a chance that one up there I think all right Sigurd leveled up let's see if we lost them oof so we lost Alf gear and we still have Kunibert the the way that I didn't want it to be Alf gear would have been a better one to keep and Kunibert I was okay with leaving behind uh, he came back with a weakened heart so 30% less hit points and he's always content with being in reserve um, all right so we did get we didn't get food that's a problem because I'm pretty low on food um, however I mean yeah, medical supplies. So we picked up some more tools, supplies, ammunition, signet, signet ring, which is nice. 
everything else here is I think I'm going to be selling there's a few things that uh, I might use these helms are actually pretty nice a um, couple daggers here and there so it's some of it might be useful but um, I'm hoping to make more money than Ooh. any orc young I, I can't be fighting them at the moment uh, have we hit we've hit uh we've gone over time i'm gonna just end the video in rasanan i'd like to buy some food um so that i remember this for the next time let's go check out the prices we're gonna need a couple stacks at least um and we can kind of sell some of this now i don't see why not the scimitar is pretty nice. Let's take a look at the gear before we take off. Well done, three, three, four. Um, I could go for. could go for I want to say a backstabber because he's on the end here let's squeeze up we're gonna have to bring well maybe we don't but maybe we bring up a couple of these guys here um, let's think about this underdog I think that's important. If he's on the if he's on the side, let's give him underdog. Um, it's going to be nice for anybody, honestly, but underdog on the flanks um, is a pretty good, pretty strong uh, perk. What was the other thing here? Right, the gear. So we have a couple of these 125s with fatigue eight. Uh, so we can replace these. It's only plus one with the fatigue, but um, 15 extra durability. So these are these are pretty strong helmets. The the Nomad reinforced helms. I guess it's just going to be these two, Hans and Egon. Yeah, not bad. Dark Thick Tunic, we don't have to worry about that. The... Let's see here. We could probably get rid of some of these shields. Let's make sure we have daggers on everybody. Good dagger, at least. Let's do that. Do you have one? Do. I am forgetting about this, but um, yeah, I think it's it's more or less going to be used if I run out of ammunition. <clears throat> Ninety three. Where did that guy? Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just give you. That. that'll that'll increase that'll help your fatigue a little bit and then I'm just gonna drop this in here we can finally get rid of that thing we do have a couple more of these boar spears but that's not really um, necessary anymore all right let's sell some of this stuff off then uh, we're not going to use this these are kind of nice, actually. Um, it's it's basically a lighter, rusty mail coif, but it's the same durability. We could definitely use that. Um, let's do that on... We could give Yarnay 
little bit more. I think that works. Mm. So we don't need a couple of those. We don't need all of those. Let's keep these. And I'd say let's use these uh, Adra Adarga shields more than the wooden ones at this point. Uh, it's I mean, it, it's still going to need a, a few hits to get through with an axe. Um, I think it actually needs the same amount, unless it's the hatchet. Then it, the rounded shield is going to take one extra hit. I, I think, if I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I can get rid of all this crap. Uh, we don't need all these kite shields, so let's get rid of these checkers. Uh, these are full health, so we'll keep those. Then there's the scythe and the scimitar. I wanted to... I keep forgetting about it, but I, I wanted to... The scimitar is, is nice. The scythe is okay. But then the arming sword is 40 to 45, and that's what the scimitar is. So we'll get rid of these scythes. I'll keep the scimitar for now. Um, I like the the northern swords more than the southern swords, where uh, repost comes into play more. And I always, I, I kind of forget to use it, but I also forget to use the gash ability with these swords. So I... Hmm. keep this we'll keep that too and actually we could make him into a, a two-handed scythe instead of 15 and 20 instead of 12 and 20 so it's really not much of a difference honestly it does add a little bit more weight uh, it removes two of the fatigue, ten versus eight. But let's let's build him to be a uh, a light cleaver. Um, it's not really going to change much more <laughs> between that and the uh, the skirmish axe. But at least this time, I I know I want to keep it like this, and we can. Um, focus maybe try and find some other things that might work for him with a two-handed weapon instead of going for instance with duelist we can go with um for skirmish sacks we can put that somewhere else yeah that'll be worth it so i would like to use this hammer but i really want to find somebody that's worth putting it on okay well, it's uh, well beyond the time that I usually cut off, so I will cut off here. And let's accept that. Screw it. Get out of the south. Uh, so next time we'll head north to Schnellen. Way up here. It's not that far off, actually. We can just cut through. And uh, maybe go hunting in, in between. We do have a lot of good, we have a good amount of crowns here, but we'll need to pick up some food maybe before we uh, enter the wilderness in between, probably some tools and supplies, definitely. And uh, yeah, so we'll leave it off here. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you in the next time.